goes back from when I was a kid. I don't know why. I don't <laughs> no. know. Right, um, a call to this unit because it's tripping the uh, earth leakage trip out apparently. It's been diagnosed by their Sparky. Uh, let's see if we can get there. It's going to be upside down. What can you do? Well, that's showing a short on there, not putting um, the grooms. In fact, I don't know if it's the smell of the paint or um does smell a bit burnt. Uh, wiring's got hot or something. Uh, right. right. Get a cameraman to point that at us. Um any one of these do. Well that one's fine. That one's okay. That one's okay. This one's got to be buggered. That's okay. We got. We have to check. We got good earth because uh, there she is. That's the one. It's always the last one you check, isn't it? That's on there. So this we yeah, went on all around, didn't we? This is the one. 0.02 mega ohms on that winding, and all the other ends. Hundred and something mega ohms. That's fine. Hundred on that one. Uh, that's the other end then, 0.02. Yep. I've got the gas out of it, pretty much. Uh, holds 10 kilos and we've got about 9.5 out of it so far, but it may well... It's quite a big system in volume, so it'll probably take... Um, quite a few hundred grams just to break the vacuum so it may well have the full 10 kilos and you'd have to put it down to an absolute vacuum to see um, you don't really want to go much lower than zero really and it's just creeping up a little bit so you get 5 or 10 minutes and then uh, put it down again there might be a little bit of liquid input like in the dryer or uh, in the sump of the compressor or even in the tank and get this lifted down. That's a new contact when overloads that were put on. 